got my girl Sharon to help me out with this one here. That's how we doing in 2013. Dumb shit, get at me. Niggas think they hoes, but hoes we hoes too. Two can play that game, bitch, we do what you do. I say not niggas think they hoes, but hoes we hoes too. Two can play that game, bitch, we do what you do. You see, you holler at my girl and I holler at your boy. I ain't got no feelings, bitch. My heart ain't no toy. Will you leave me in the house in the middle of the night? To creep with your bitch, man, that shit is all right. Cause when you leave out the door, I'm out the door too. I'm fucking with your boy, and you know who. He tell you I'm ugly, and he call me a freak. But he eat my pussy six days of the week. You see, niggas think they hoes, but hoes be hoes too. Two can play the game, bitch, we do what you do. See, you don't chill with your kids, cause they old enough to tell. But you got me fucked up, I just wish you well. When I leave for work, nigga, you on the phone. You call your bitch to tell her I'm gone. Sad, give her a minute, she might turn back around. But you're right to be careful, cause I'll beat that bitch down. But why you licking no up? A nigga. Get your shit together, be home. <clears throat> All right, welcome back to the Patreon. Obviously, if you made it this far, that means that you know something. Uh, and at the very least, you are part of AO Nation. Um, today, we're talking about, um, of course, nothing ass bitches. Um, so much so, we had to push back the... Um, fucking how do I identify nothing as bitch by her mother uh, because I had to uh, do this episode um, what we just witnessed was uh, NBA young boy mama in 2013 attempting to still live her best life um which goes into the rap trap which goes into the forever circle which is the powers that be um which was their original plan um it's, it's, it's a fucking assembly line it's a fucking warehouse uh six, section 8 housing and government projects are inmate warehouses this is where the inmates are made um, they knew what they were creating when they created it. Um, last night I recorded this video, but, uh, I went too far. I had to delete the whole thing. Um, and remnants of it, what I was pretty much saying was, um, these people do real fucking research they do the numbers they crunch the numbers that census isn't just a fucking you know what i'm saying it's not just bullshit um they know what the fuck is going on they know if they wanted to stop something if something is a problem to them they can stop it instantaneously we we know from edward snowden that snowden that there is no, they have no issue knowing what's what, who's who, and who's where, what's going on. There is no privacy. Everything is being recorded, whether it be your TV, your fucking phone, or your fucking microwave. Everything has cameras and microphones. There is no fucking privacy. Um, I think, I, and I think it's been like that before 9 11. It's just now, it's just a little bit more widely known that you don't have any privacy um and this goes into hey and this goes into that this knowledge is what fuels my uh point of view on the rap shit and on the street shit um For you not only to still be in the street, but to show it off and your profits from, from being in the street, your your spoils, giving them a case even more, I can't co-sign that. I can't co-sign it. Um, but what we're what we're talking about now is um nothing as bitches. Um, having children before they're ready to be mothers uh, that These nothing ass bitches don't have children because they're ready to be mothers. They have children because they need friends You know what I'm saying? 
they need their very own personal fucking friend, uh, personal assistant, uh, as uh, my colleague says, um, their accessories. Children are accessories to these motherfuckers. You ask a girl who has seven fucking kids, would she have another child? And she'll say, yeah, no, nah, I got it. I can't, I can't keep the ones I got. And it's like, okay, what, what makes another child too many children? Because you didn't have money on your first child. You didn't have money on your second child. You weren't stable on your third child or your fourth. And this is what I'm saying. For you to even have one child while in poverty, why in the fuck would it matter how many children you have? You understand what I'm saying? The principle of that? Um, why would you stop? Whatever your reason for reason is for stop having children, you, that should, of course, there's you know uh, you can't have no more. Your body wore out, whatever the fuck. Uh, too many, whatever the fuck. Too many children, not enough time. Dog, that should be your reasoning for not having the first child. If you can see the problems and and the 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 fucking issues you're gonna run into with your twelfth child, why in the fuck can you see that with your first fucking kid? Because I'm not in a place where I can be nurturing and give my full attention to a child. I'm not purposely going to. All I have now is a little bit more knowledge of nothing ass bitches to where I'm not going to put a bitch in control um, of anything that I have going on. I'm not going to allow you to make that fucking decision. Um, not because I'm the leader of the Men Too movement. Which, I just had another guy hit me today saying he wanted me to hear his case and gave me his number and uh, she's trying to jam me up and she's here and I, she's saying it happened at this time. I'm like, my nigga, before you even go forward on with that, I got too many cases. I have too many cases. Not to mention I'm doing this, this, I got the book, I got this fucking Hallucination Chronicles, I gotta do the uh, fucking top three ways to identify nothing ass bitch by a mother. I got to put out this video. I got a fucking uh, trademark meeting. I got three artists and two fucking YouTubers that I'm working with. I don't have, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at this point in time, if you you want me to fuck with you, there's going to be a fee to it. And, and it's going to be upwards of $100. So maybe that will slow down the uh income or, or the the uh you motherfuckers hitting me up asking for help i'm overloaded on cases you niggas want to fucking come cry to me but you still out you everybody do the same shit you hear what the fuck I, you you know who the fuck i am and what i stand for because if you didn't you wouldn't hit me up when it go bad you know all that shit but you still out this whole Gambling, and when they, when you crap out, now it's time to hit me up. But you don't respect me enough, or believe me to the point where I'm just gonna hold off because I believe that nigga. That man, that nigga, he know what the fuck he talking about. That nigga, and he damn sure did say he got a lot of cases. So I'm just gonna hold off. Fuck with nah, you you fuck with hoes and say if I do get in trouble, I'm just gonna hit him up. No, my nigga, no. So. But as the leader of the Men Too movement, um, I'm not the leader because I, hey, I'm, I want to be the boss. No, no, no. I'm the leader because by example, I'm telling you what I live. If you want to follow um, my example of living, then you can do that. Um, and if you want to get proactive, then you can be within the Men Too movement. But just because you follow the three S's doesn't make you a member of the Men Too movement. Uh, it's further, it's deeper than that. But one of the reasons why I, I'm i holding off and I, I ask you to hold off if you're smart is because until we can get laws in place to say... Um, We're pro-choice. If you want to have an abortion, that's your body. I can't tell you to go through nine months of hell and then have to push the baby out. I can't tell you that you're going to have to go through that. It's your boy's choice if you want to have an abortion 
or if you want to, you know, go ahead and have the child. Those are your choices. I can't tell you what to do. But what I can tell you is I'm signing my rights away. I have no rights to this child. This child is pretty much not even I have I'm a stranger to this child. And um, with that, I'm forfeiting my financial obligation. So it's a financial abortion. Um, that's what we're fighting for uh, on this end. Um, but like I said, these people have the power to overnight change the Constitution. They see the Black Panthers going out getting shotguns because it's legal to have shotguns overnight they change it make it illegal they can do whatever the fuck they want so if something is a threat to them oh they it, it, it's done but if it's helping them like the section 8 inmate warehouse projects inmate warehouse they're gonna keep that going and, 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 and tie you up in fucking legalese and all this bullshit paperwork red tape. Trying to tie up your money to it and, and never get shit done. You'll be uh, filling out fucking paperwork and going through fucking junctions and getting uh, court appearances set off for fucking 10 years. Um, so, what I suggest that you do is fall the fuck back be a part of the movement uh, because you have a son ma'am you have a brother you have a uncle you have a father ma'am um, and in a minute he will be in trouble for a sex crime or because he was drunk one night and got uh, hooked up with a nothing ass bitch and now the law is in a in a is not on your side. Um but I'm telling you all this because for one this is the Patreon. This is where we go in depth. Um I need for you to understand why I see things the way that I see them down to the barest element. Um before we can even talk about NBA young boy and who his mother is, we have to talk about why. We have to talk about why. It's not enough for me to just, that nothing ass bitch, that's a nothing ass bitch, that, look at that nothing ass bitch, look at her weave, look at her makeup. No, no, no. We have to go to the source of this fucking issue. I'm not talking about the fucking symptoms, I'm talking about the infection itself. I'm not talking about the pain, I'm talking about the infection. We're not going to put cologne over fucking must. We're going to wash. You know what I'm saying? So, NBA Youngboy's mother having a child when she was still wanting to be Still had aspirations and goals of fucking being some type of star, uh, some type of it being in the spotlight. I, I think that says a lot about her. Uh, first off, uh, she's ugly as fuck, uh, and accompanied with her unattractive physical features, she also comes with and she also de uh, developed uh, a defense mechanism, a, na a natural defense mechanism that. Um, allows her to not be a victim but be the fucking um, assailant so she got so tired of girls and people laughing at how ugly she was and, and other people being pretty and shit like that please believe me she was the girl in school that you know picked fights with the pretty girl and you know what I'm saying? Tried to, you know, beat up, you know, she the, the main motherfucking mess ass bitch. You, and everybody knows a bitch. A, a ugly ass, this mess ass bitch always frowning. Mm. 